I've known Julie for many years. I've known her since I was a student nurse and she's always supported me um, on a personal level and, and in my practice as well. I've been a nurse for, for 35 years. I've been a district nurse since 2002. I'm a community practice teacher. So um, what we do is we, when someone qualifies, they go on to do their specialist practice qualification and we support them in that role for a year, 32 weeks, where they get um, experience in different areas and go on to become hopefully great leaders. I've developed as well, she's really given me that encouragement to develop um, into the role that I'm in now. At the moment I think the whole world of learning in nursing is rapidly changing so we really need to change with it and just do the right thing to support and facilitate the students that are coming through. She encouraged me to um, do the district nurse training as well which I'm really grateful for. I absolutely love district nursing and I wouldn't do anything else but I want that to to be something that the nurses who go on to do the specialist quantification want to do themselves. Julie's always been supportive in um, um, All right, thank you. helping us to maintain the dignity with, with patients at the end of their life, which is a really important role that we play. Most of the models of learning now incorporate um, more than one mentor, so we do team mentoring, so there's quite a lot involved with that, but really it's just trying to make sure that they, they promote dignity and respect with the, with the students as well and then encourage them to go on to be district nurses of the future. She's always there whenever I've got um, a particular complex patient and um, she's there to guide me if you know there are sort of aspects um, um, maybe where we need to promote independence with a patient particularly. The essence of it is good communication and dignity and care and respect, respect for each other. Um, that's my view anyway.